Discovering morning, discovering sun, discovering there's room for everyone. Discovering horses and giraffes too. Discovering me and discovering you. We're little people with great big plans. Little people, we've got helping hands. Little people, we count from one to ten. Little people, and we'll always be friends. Discovering Michael and his friend Maggie. Discovering Lion and Sonia Lee. Discovering Sarah and her twin Eddie. Discovering you and discovering me. Discovering you and discovering me. Discovering Michael, clever as can be. He loves to make things magically. Discovering Michael and you and me. Every day is a discovery day for the little people. And sometimes for bears. Those don't work very well without snow, Smiley. Yeah, well, I can't wait forever. Okay, see ya. What's going on? Is there a fire? We certainly are glad to see you. Especially you, Sonia. Who, me? I'm not very good at putting up fires. <laughs> There's no fire. We were just trying to find out what our two visitors need. They aren't interested in any honey. Honey? Bears! Now that you're here, you can talk to them. I'd be happy to. The baby bear's in the pastry shop eating the donuts. Hello, Mother Bear. What seems to be the problem? Ah, here he comes. Ooh, those are my favorite, too. What did she say? Well, it seems your baby doesn't want to go to sleep. You mean he doesn't want to take a nap? That's strange. Naps are good for everybody. Especially for bears. For him, it's more than a nap. He has to hibernate. You know, sleep all winter. Hmm. So what's the problem? He doesn't think it's winter time. I don't suppose showing him a calendar will help. Have an idea? What's Michael doing? He's cutting something out. Don't worry, Mama. Everything's going to be all right. <laughs> Finished! Take one of these and... Oops! <laughs> and hold on tight! What do we do with these, Michael? Hold them up, and after I count to three, let them go. One, two, three! Hey, look at that! Whoa! Oh, <laughs> 
You're very welcome, Mama Bear. Thank you, Michael. Yeah, great job. Aww. <laughs> we did it together. And so the little people learned again how good it feels to help others. Dashing through the snow on a brand new pair of skis. Over the fields I go, happy as can be. <laughs> Discovering Sonia, who's gentle and true. She's kind to people and animals too. Discovering Sonia and me and you. The little people are discovering what fun it is to play in newly fallen snow. snow to play in. <laughs> Why, it's Seal and Monkey. <laughs> Seal? Monkey? What's the matter? <laughs> what is it, Sonia? What did they say? The zoo wasn't ready for so much snow. They need our help. What are we waiting for? Let's go. <laughs> We just can't keep up with all the snow. Nowhere to hide from the snow in there. What will we do? Where can they go? Keeping animals warm is what barns are for. Do you think that will be okay with Farmer Jed? Why, sure. There's room for everyone inside my barn. Come on in. We'll all be cozy as cozy can be in here. There, there. No need for anyone to be nervous. Soon as I get some more hay down here, we'll all be snug as a bug in a rug. <laughs> Say, with all this help, this is going to be a piece of cake. <laughs> Never saw anyone miss the floor before. There you are, Mrs. Cow. Mm. <laughs> Farmer Jed, why do you have that old chair out here? Oh, I like to come out here every night and share a story with my animals. It makes for a nice time of sharing. Oh, I like that. Can I tell the animals a story? Well, now, that's a good idea. You know, we should do this every year, snow or no snow. It's great when doing a good deed helps us discover something really nice. Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the barn, all the creatures were happy and doing no harm. While outside the snow gusted and swirled, inside of the barn, all was right with the world. And as the new friends snuggled in for the night, they wished each one peace as they turned out the light. And so the little people discovered that a good deed and good friends make any night a special one.
discovering Eddie and Freddie too. They believe there's nothing that they can't do. Discovering Eddie and me and you. Even the most ordinary day can turn out to be extraordinary when you discover something new. Anybody home? Good! They're not here! I sure hope Jack and Walter like these whistles. They weren't easy to make. They'll need some work, huh? Easy now. Don't worry, Freddy. They'll see the closed sign and come back later. You know, Freddy. You're acting pretty weird. Anybody home? I certainly could use a little help. You're... You're... You're him! Ho, ho, ho! That I am! And you're Eddie! And Freddy's here, too. You know us? <laughs> of course I do. That's my job, you know. Couldn't deliver your presents if I didn't, could I? Guess not. Do you think you could give me a hand? I'd be glad to help Santa. What's the problem? I'll show you. It's nothing dangerous, and it won't stop my Christmas deliveries. But I have a lot of roofs to land on, and I don't want to wake everybody up with a squeaky runner. I think I can fix that. Ho, ho, ho! I was certain I'd come to the right place. That ought to do it. Much better. You certainly do know how to use tools well. Jack and Walter taught me. That's why I... Oh, never mind. That's why what, Eddie? That's why I made these whistles for them. I, I wanted to thank them for teaching me about tools. <laughs> Not very good, are they? Ho, ho, ho! These are wonderful presents, Eddie. Not for how they sound, but because you made them. You think so? Ho, 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 ho! It's the music that they'll make in Jack and Walter's hearts that's the important present. Thank you, Santa. You're very welcome, Eddie. Hmm. But there is one thing we have to do, you know. There is? I thought everything was okay. There's only one way for a good mechanic to be sure. There is? What is it? A test drive! Yeah! <laughs> These are from Eddie. Wow. He did a great job making them, didn't he? He sure did. <laughs> Discovering Sarah, who's sometimes blue, but has her friends to help her through. Discovering Sarah. And me and you No one knows when a discovery will be made. That's what makes them so exciting. Oh. 
But it's not ours. How will we know who to return it to if we don't look inside? Um... Okay. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> what is it? What is it? It's full of... Toys! Listen, isn't it beautiful? toy ever! I have never seen a platypus as cute as this. These are what I call really magical markers. Oh, one of my favorite books! Well, this is great because everything is mine. Oh, I don't think so, Sarah. All right. The toys belong to us. Finders keepers, right? We all know who this sack belongs to, Sarah. We do? A sack of toys? At Christmas time? All right, all right. But Santa has lots of toys. He won't miss these, will he? But the children they are meant for, Will. I know you're right, but how will we get them back to him? He's in the village listening to Christmas lists right now. If we hurry, we can have this sack back to him in no time. What are we waiting for? Let's go! Thank you, Cheryl. I'll see what I can do about that new helmet. But now that I've heard what everyone wants, it's time for me to be getting on. Christmas, you know. Wait, Santa! We have something that belongs to you. Why, thank you. Sarah, isn't it? I was wondering where this had gotten to. You've made some children very happy. Must be off. Thanks again. Especially to you, Sarah. So long. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. A Merry Christmas to you all. Ho, ho, ho. Discovering Maggie Who loves to lead And tries to do so Thoughtfully Discovering Maggie And you and me When Christmas finally arrives the little people discover that it was well worth waiting for. Look! Look! I finally found it! It's beautiful, Maggie. Yes, but what is it? It's a conductor's baton. It means I can lead our orchestra at the celebration today. That's great! We have a great orchestra for you to conduct. We'd better practice. Oh, we've been practicing. We knew you'd want to lead us, so we made sure we'd be ready. You have? 
Now we can begin the celebration right away. Oh, okay. Attention, everyone. Attention, please. Now's the special time of year when we celebrate Christmas together as a family. Let the festivities begin! Yeah! Can we get the orchestra organized now? Before we proceed, there is a special presentation to be made to some people who have helped us prepare this year's event. Michael, Sonia, Eddie, Sarah, and Maggie. Those presents are for you. Special delivery from Santa. can wait a little longer. It's the book from the toys we found. It's the magical markers. And my platypus. What a great surprise. Dear Sarah, thanks again for helping me. Love, Santa. Can we please have our orchestra now? <laughs> What's all this? These are our instruments. But those are dinner bells. And wait till you hear these whistles. And isn't that a tub for washing clothes? It can do a lot more than that, Maggie. And that's a violin? It's a viola, Maggie. I made it myself. But this isn't a real orchestra at all. How am I going to conduct this? Maggie, don't be upset. We've worked very hard to surprise you. The proof is in the playing. And with you conducting, how can we sound bad? I'm sorry. You're right. It's the spirit that matters. It's great to share music no matter how it sounds. All right, let's begin. One, two, three, four. Ding dong ding, Christmas bells are ringing. Ding dong ding, sing a Christmas song. Ding dong ding, Christmas bells are ringing. Ding dong ding, sing a Christmas song. Cookies, eggnog, apple pies, happiness in people's eyes. Star upon the Christmas tree, peace on earth for you. Discovering morning, discovering sun, discovering there's room for everyone. Discovering horses and giraffes too, discovering me and discovering you. We're little people with great big plans, little people we've got helping hands. Little people, we come from one to ten. Little people, and we'll always be friends. Discovering Michael and his friend Maggie. Discovering Lion and Sonia Lee. Discovering Sarah. 
and her twin Eddie. 